Have you ever wondered if playing man vs machine is worth your money, time and effort? As someone who is approaching 100 tours completed and plans to continue playing and get better, I have some insights for you. Back in August 2017, in my tiny inventory where I received some Steam gift cards, I decided to play Man Up on my garbage laptop. I was really bad at the game but on the final mission of two cities on my third tour, I was playing on the map Bavarian Bot Bash with an even worse team where we literally missed like 3000 credits including the bonuses and whilst I carried them as engineer and they were annoyed at me for telling them how to play better, I was dropped in Australian Thomas Lab for my efforts. With sheer luck, I managed to turn 12 Tour of Duty tickets into 12 keys. Nice. As I was hooked, I was thinking if I should continue playing or stop then. I knew I could be pushing my luck, but it's fun, and I could get even luckier. Imagine you got an Australian drop on your third tour. Would you stop or continue playing? For some, the answer might be easy or hard, depending on who you ask. Chances are, you don't have too much money to spend, and the harsh truth is, the odds of getting those top tier items are slim. Many players, including myself, have gone through countless tours with little to show for it, despite an Australian drop at Tour 3. The excitement wanes as the grind becomes more apparent. I reached a point where I had to reassess my MVM journey. Was I playing for enjoyment or just chasing the elusive jackpot? I realized that my love for the game mode itself was what kept me going. I played only around 20 more tours for the next three years. I decided to focus on the fun aspects of MVM, the teamwork, the strategy, and the satisfaction of learning to carry your entire team. The potential rewards becomes a secondary concern. So is MVM worth playing? From a high tour perspective, I'd say yes, but with a caveat, play it for the love of the game, not solely for the loot. The rewards are a bonus, but the real value lies in the experience. You might not be able to afford it, so therefore it's not worth it. Or you simply don't enjoy playing it, which is fine as well. If you're considering diving into MVM, go in with realistic expectations. Enjoy the journey, and if you happen to strike gold, consider it a delightful surprise. MVM can be a rewarding experience both in terms of gameplay and potential loot. However, it's important to find the right balance between enjoyment and the pursuit of rewards. Keep this in mind and you'll have a fulfilling MVM journey. Let me teach you some things you should know about MVM to have the best experience possible. Number one, affordability. MVM can be a costly endeavor, especially if you're aiming for high tours. It's essential to ensure that you can afford the cost of tour duty tickets without compromising your financial stability. Engage in MVM only if it aligns with your budget and doesn't detract from essential expenses. The rewards, such as Australians and professional killstreak kits are rare and might not yield immediate returns. Be prepared to play multiple tours without significant drops. Only invest if you're comfortable with the uncertainty and can afford the prolonged expenditure. If the cost of tickets feels like a burden or diminishes your enjoyment of the game, it might be worth reconsidering your participation. For example, if you're a low tier trader looking for a shortcut to profit, it's not worth it. If you've already had a successful run in trading and some of your online friends invite you, then sure, you have my blessing to run a few tours. If you're wondering which tour is the most profitable, or I should say, which tour is the least bad, let me quickly explain it here. Oil spill is immediately off the table because you have to play 6 maps which means 6 tickets, yet it doesn't drop any Australians or anything expensive. It's impossible to make profit or even break even as you'll be consistently losing $5.5 per tour. Next is Steel Trap where you also have to pay and play with 6 tickets. A lot of people don't actually know this but you can get Australian drops from this tour. However, this doesn't mean it's profitable by any means. You're expected to lose $4 per tour and the odds of breaking even are approximately 7.24%. Now onto something actually reasonable. Mecha Engine. You only need to complete 3 missions to complete a tour and you're still eligible to get Australiums and the Golden Pan. The odds are still not in your favour though as your chances to break even is roughly 18.14%. Your expected returns are to lose $1.5 per tour here. On the Gear Grinder Expert missions, you only need to complete 3 maps and you're eligible to get an Australium here. Similar to Mecha Engine, these two tours are great for speed and Australium farming but the return on investment still averages to be about 45%. The odds of breaking even are about 17%. But long behold, the superior tour to not lose so much money is two cities. Yeah, you need to complete one more tour than Mecha Engine and Gear Grinder, but it's by far the most profitable. Not to mention it's way easier to queue into a game and complete missions if you're solo queuing or in a small party. This is the only mission to drop robot parts. 
and killstreak kits alongside Australiums, which collectively add up to mitigate your losses. For every dollar spent, you're expected to get back about 84 cents back of loot, which is not horrible. Your chance to break even is about 35.69%. Number 2. Educate yourself. I strongly urge you to take the time to read well-written Steam guides and YouTube tutorials. If you can understand the fundamental game mechanics, your MBM experience will be much better. Familiarize yourself with the do's and don'ts of MBM. For instance, avoid purchasing Knockback Rage as it hinders your entire team's ability to deal damage due to damage falloff. Avoid playing a spy without a clear strategy of knowing what to upgrade, or choosing a shotgun when you have a rocket launcher over a banner that could benefit your whole team. These common mistakes can hinder your team's progress and lead to frustrating experiences where you fail waves. Also, the most important thing in MVM to remember, time is of the essence. If even one player out of six doesn't promptly press F4 to ready up every wave, the game can extend by approximately 20% longer, with an added minute per wave. This delay accumulates and can significantly waste everyone's time on your team. Concerns about needing time to upgrade your weapons and abilities should not deter you from readying up promptly. There is a built-in 10 second delay before each wave begins, and the robots typically take an average of about 20 seconds to start dropping. This provides ample time for last minute adjustments without holding up the game. You can always upgrade in the middle of waves as long as your engineer puts down a nearby two-way teleporter. Promptly readying up and being prepared for each wave is a sign of respect for your teammates' time and contributes to a smoother and more enjoyable gaming experience. Number 3. Cooperation, Communication, Compliance The three C's of MVM In Man vs Machine, success hinges on three critical components. Cooperation, communication, and compliance. These three C's form the foundation of a cohesive and effective team. MVM is a cooperative game mode, meaning teamwork is paramount. Each player has a role to play, and working together to achieve the common goal of completing the mission is essential. Lone wolves and solo efforts are less likely to succeed in this team-oriented environment. Clear communication is vital in MVM. Whether it's calling out incoming threats, coordinating upgrades or planning strategies, keeping an open line of communication with your teammates can significantly enhance your chances of success. Use voice chat or in-game chat to stay connected and informed. Listening to more experienced players is crucial. High tour players often have a wealth of knowledge and insights that can benefit the entire team. While it may sometimes feel patronizing, their advice is usually aimed at ensuring a smoother and more efficient mission. Respecting their experience and adhering to their guidance can prevent unnecessary challenges and frustrations. And as a reminder, don't forget the importance of pressing F4 to ready up. You should always respect your teammates' time. By embracing the free seas of MVM, adhering to the unspoken rule of readying up, you can contribute to a positive and successful gaming experience for yourself and your teammates. Number 4. Improvement is rewarding. Your journey through Man vs Machine is not just about defeating waves of robots, it's also about personal growth and skill development. The satisfaction of seeing your abilities evolve over time is one of the most rewarding aspects of MVM. Every completed tour, every perfected strategy, and every new skill mastered brings a deep sense of achievement. As you improve, you'll notice your contribution to the team becoming more significant. Improvement in MVM opens the door to new possibilities. Higher skill levels allow you to complete missions faster, experiment with different class setups, and take on leadership roles within your team. The game becomes more dynamic and engaging as your capabilities expand. I wouldn't have over a combined total of 200 tours in two cities and Mecha Engine as of this upload if grinding MVM was so boring. As you become more proficient in MVM, you'll earn the respect and recognition of your peers. High tour players are often looked up to for their expertise and experience. This respect can lead to more enjoyable games as teammates are more likely to listen to your strategies and work together effectively. Embrace the challenge of becoming a better player and enjoy the rewards that come with it. Also F4. Number 5. Sell your loot. One of the main attractions of MVM is the loot you receive at the end of a successful tour. Managing your loot effectively can help you sustain your MVM adventures and even profit from them. Selling your loot can provide you with the funds to buy more Tour of Duty tickets, allowing you to continue playing MVM without additional real world investment. The cycle of playing, earning and reinvesting can keep you in the game indefinitely. If you're lucky enough to receive valuable loot, such as an Australian weapon or an expensive professional killstreak kit fabricator, consider investing some of your earnings into the trading market. 
This can potentially give you a foothold in the tier 2 economy. You can also choose to sell your loot for real money on cash websites or simply enjoy the items in your own loadouts. If you're not interested in trading or continuing MVM, cashing out can provide a nice return on your investment. Just all in all, avoid hoarding. Letting your loot pile up in your backpack without a purpose is a missed opportunity. Whether you reinvest, trade, cash out or use the items, make sure your loot is working for you in some way. Number 6. Understanding Probabilities Knowing the odds is crucial in MVM. It sets realistic expectations and helps you make informed decisions about playing and investing in tours. The chance of receiving any Australian weapon is approximately 2.11%. While this might seem low, it's the allure of these rare items that keeps many players coming back for more tours. The odds of unboxing the golden frying pan are even slimmer, at around 0.0051%, which is also about 1 in 19,500. This ultra rare item is a dream for many, but it's important to understand just how rare it is. If you didn't know, all Australians have the same drop chance, except for the golden pan mentioned previously and the Islander, which drops about one third of the time as the other Aussies. You have a better chance, around 15%, of getting a professional killstreak kit fabricated though if you're playing two cities. However, the average price of these kits is around $4 USD, so don't expect them to be a major source of profit. The probability of profiting from a random tour is estimated to be about 10%. This means that most of the time, you won't make your money back. So it's important to play for fun and not solely for profit. Understanding the probabilities in MVM can help manage your expectations and make your experience more enjoyable. Remember, the odds are generally low for high value items, so it's important to enjoy the gameplay and view any valuable loot as a bonus. I put a link in the description for the probabilities if you would like to see them for yourself. Here is a summary of all the points that I mentioned before. Number one, play only if you can afford it. MVM can be costly, so ensure you can afford the tickets without financial strain. Number two, educate yourself. Learn the game mechanics and strategies to enhance your experience and contribute effectively to your team. Number three, cooperation, communication, compliance. Work as a team, communicate clearly, and listen to experienced players for a smoother and more successful mission. Number four, improvement is rewarding. Progressing and mastering the game modes in MVM can be a fulfilling experience, offering a sense of achievement. Number five, sell your loot. Make the most of your rewards by selling loot for more tickets, investing in trading, cashing out, or enjoying the items. Number six, understanding probabilities. Be aware of the odds for rare items like Australians and Golden Pans to manage expectations and enjoy the game for its fun factor. In conclusion, playing MBM in Team Fortress 2 can be a fun and rewarding experience if approached with the right mindset. By being financially prepared, educating yourself, cooperating with your team, and understanding the game's probabilities, you can make the most of your time in man vs machine mode, whether you're in it for the loot, the challenge, or the teamwork, remember to enjoy the journey that comes with it. And that's it for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more TF2 trading tips and insights. Share your own MVM experiences and tips in the comments below. Happy trading and gaming everyone. Remember to F4. What? Stop. 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 Why? Why is it always you? What the hell? Bruh. Good shit. Damn.